I certainly could imagine one day the whole exhibit of the Hamish Bowles collection, yes. I'm Hamish Bowles, international editor-at-large for Vogue magazine. I travel the world seeking out the most singular pieces to add to my couture collection, a collection which I spent nearly a lifetime assembling. If it's out there, I'll find it on Vintage Bowls. Hamish has been shopping here for about five or six years. He's very, very thorough and very detailed about what he's looking for. And you can go to Marlene on any given day, practically, and have like a mini tutorial in Jeffrey Bean's career. Jeffrey Bean was, I think, one of the greatest American designers. He was obsessed with Adrian, the Hollywood designer, who then went on to set up his own fashion collection in the, in the mid-40s. His clothes often have that kind of, you know, there's something a bit 40s black and white movie. I mean, you can absolutely see Joan Crawford in that, you know. When he started and he was doing those very stiff little dresses that looked like cut out paper dolls, almost two dimensional, to the kind of liquid fluid 70s things he was doing to the 80s very elaborate structured things where he's mixing and layering textiles and textures and color. This is a crazy bean. Look at these twisted colors. The ones I have actually have the little the showroom tag and it has O-S, I think, which means original sample. This is the dress, but then the lining, it's a whole other silk taffeta. So this is a, this is a woven fabric. And then he's had this trim with a different hand to it than this. Matches the pattern, that's such a sort of haute couture thing to do and ready to wear. Just because, you know, the client's gonna know it's there, and maybe anyone who unzips her, <laughs> that's about it. There's something so uniquely American about it, but there's a sense of craftsmanship that seems a little more European. And this is kind of typical of the, the kind of thing that he was doing in the 60s, it's like a sports stripe, isn't it? Like a, like a rugby or a football outfit. You know, he did this whole collection that had um, giant numbers on the front, beaded on the front, like football sweaters. This is so funny. This is like a, you know, a real 60s synthetic, but that, but it's actually lined in a, in a pure silk. I mean, that's so perverse. That's another crazy bean. Look, he's just used the overlocking stitch as the trim. He really was some kind of crazy. 